back in the studio and we're going to be doing the sword display here at 4 p.m. here on Monday. It's early in the morning. I woke up to grab me a drink. It's literally, what time is it? 4.27. It's almost 4.30 in the morning, guys. So I wanted to wake up and give you all this important update and we're doing the swords by display coming up here at 4 p.m. on Monday, September 23rd. So we're going to show you guys every blade, every sword, every hatchet that the Rattler owns. So make sure, make sure all my viewers, all you guys, my viewers are on at 4 o'clock. We're going live streaming. Yeah, I'm going to get an updated webcam for the studio we're going to get an updated webcam so i'm going to put another hundred dollars in my account here tomorrow i decided i'm going to get an updated webcam and i gotta get a new shoe rack the shoe rack is going bad you guys believe that the shoe rack going bad but uh i'll go back to bed soon fans venomous rattler fans Hopefully you guys enjoyed those uploads of uh, going back through Johnstown. I know you guys are getting sick and tired of seeing that. We had to do it one last time for my new missus. She never got to see it. And we got to cover more than what we covered before at, at the Grandview Cemetery. See, we never went the whole way around the cemetery like we did yesterday. We never went the whole way through Lake Connemaw like we did here in 2024 like we first went in 2022 and last year we never got to cover it all like we did this year in 2024 but we're doing more we're doing more than ever and i am going to take shauna to uh canoe creek you people already seen canoe creek you already know what that's like we're not going to film that so don't worry unless you guys want to see chimney rocks again i'll bring it back by popular demand so leave a comment at the bottom and let me know if you guys want to see chimney rocks here here in october because that's when i'm taking her so we can do it that way then we'll show Canoe Creek if it comes back by popular demand. I'll show you guys. But we're going to start throwing on some fresh history after this week. The reason why Rattler's staying for a week because they're going to get the rest of our recaps done. Plus, we're going to do some fresh history also with later on this week sometime. So, we're going to hit some new historic spots. So, make sure you guys get ready. Uh, well, just chilling back in the new studio. You guys can tell where I am. I'm definitely back here in the new studio, so. But just make sure you guys subscribe. Venomous Rattler. You guys know exactly what to do and stuff, so. You know, all that stuff there. So. We're going to be gone. So. All right, guys. We no editing on this video. It's just straight up. So we're gonna bring back some more new themes for the editing. We're gonna bring back some old school ones. We're gonna mix. We're just gonna mix it all up for now on. Make it interesting. Mix up from the old. Mix up from what we had back then a bit, like last year and this year, and then with the new. That's right, in with the new. So, that's what we're doing, guys. But that couch I tried to break, it was made out of like a lot of springs. It was really flexible, made out of like a lot of double, triple plated wood. I got a tour apart after getting off the air. It wasn't easy. And the couch landed on my right foot. The first two minutes as I was slamming the couch, like, right after I got in front of the shed, like if you saw the couch, how it bounced back and landed on my foot. Oh, it did. And landed on my left foot and bruised my toes up and it's all black and blue. Still sore, but 
But I still kept slamming and slam dunking and breaking the thing. Because that's what I do. That's what the Zip Man does. It keeps on going freaking strong. I do my best. I'm one tough, I'm one tough SOB. I don't give up. I do what I got to do. So I had to get rid of all the old trash. Sorry we had to bring up the past. But we had to take care of all that. And told you people know what's going on. So, but, but that's all done. The Kugolinskis and all them, they're all behind us now. And what happened to my daughter, it's all behind us. She is getting better. She's still having her days, but it's all behind us. And we're moving on to the future now. So, but one of these days, my girlfriend's going to have her real dad come around. For the first time in over 20 years of her life, he's coming down. And maybe one of these days we can get him on a channel, possibly. But we'll see. We'll see what happens. But there will be some newer filming, newer impactful action coming up. And I'll get some grant permissions to do some brand new filming in different places that you guys never seen before. We're going to work on that. And the ch this channel is going to get better. I mean, it's going to get better. We're going to start going out of state for history here in the near future. So we're definitely going to Lizard Lake. But I found out I have to get grant permission from Ron Shirley if I'm allowed to film there. But if not, I can definitely film outside the lake and show you guys what it looks like down there nowadays. But I do know they updated their truck purple, red, and orange now. It's not green and black Lizard Lick anymore like it was when Lizard Lick was last on the air. The TV show was based upon, you know, like, you know, it was scripted. You know, like they do in WWE, like the matches, storyline, it was all storyline. But Lizard Lick is a real company, just like WWE is real. Like, you know, you get a Raw, you get a SmackDown, it's all real. It's as real as it comes. So, the same with a lizard lick. They, they actually do tow cars. They tow trucks. You know, you pay your bill. If not, you get your ass towed. There, Mo. It's a real towing company. And, and we're going to hit the spots where lizard lick went for their dinners. It's called the Old Town Cafe. You know, McLean's. We're going to film down there. And... We're going to film some of the spots where they towed, and we're going to go in town Wendell, North Carolina, and film through there, show y'all what it's like. We'll go to Zebulon, film through there. We'll hit the lakes there, and we're, we're going to film it in real life. I'm going to try to cover everything I can, and I'm going to try to get Ron Shirley on the channel after meeting him, hopefully. He'll accept it. If not, we'll take pictures with Ron Shirley. And I'll show you guys that way, you know, for proof that the Zip Man was actually at Lizard Lake. But I'm going to give it all I got. Venomous Rattler fans. So just make sure you guys subscribe. And we're going to get my father definitely on the channel here real soon. We're going to get him in for some four-wheel and action. We'll get Old Blue on the channel. His truck, Old Blue. That's a treat I want to show you guys what my father is capable of. And we'll get my girlfriend's dad on the channel, hopefully. And we'll go down and junk some cars and get that on the channel, hopefully. And like I said, I got to have lots and lots of grant permission. So I can't promise you guys everything about being a lizard looking filming or my dad or her dad those three i have to get grant permission so hopefully it's a pass hopefully it's a go but i'm not gonna let you guys down we're gonna keep it as real as it comes but we are gonna bring the characters back we're gonna bring back the comedy next month so and some fresh history flowing we're gonna we're we are going across state for history so you guys know, here in a few weeks, in the middle of October, we're going across state. That we are out. Subscribe to the one, the only, the Venomous Rattler. Thanks for watching.